Here is my mid-season potato crop. Now, I think potatoes are one of my favourite crops to grow. I really enjoy the production that you get in producing a staple food, something that really sustains you and is a major proportion of your food. Growing potatoes doesn't make huge economic sense because you can buy them so cheap. But when you pursue uh, self-reliance, self-sufficiency, growing a staple really makes good sense. Now, I attempt to grow four crops of potatoes throughout the year. This is the mid-season one. The early season, I have already dug, uh, probably a couple of weeks ago, dug the last of those. And today I'm about to plant the late season crop. Now here where we are in Tasmania I can plant potatoes up until the end of January and still get a result. Now that is uh, basically uh, midsummer for us. Uh, really what I think you need to look for is that you've got about a 12 week expectation before you're actually likely to get a frost from when you plant them. If you plant them closer to frost than that, you'll probably get them knocked a bit too early and not get the same result. But 12 weeks seems to give you some form of reasonable crop. The late crop is never as good as this crop uh, or the early crop. These crops that are grown over the heat of the year, over the best part of the season, produce fantastically. In here I probably put, I think a couple of kilos of seed potatoes they were cut um, and I will expect to harvest you know 50 60 or more kilos out of this patch but when it comes to the autumn crop look the result is proportionally a lot lower and the other thing is that you can't this time of the year buy seed potatoes so what I'm using is potatoes that I have selected from that early season crop the early spring crop at seed potato size now not very many of these have shoots on them yet so they will take a little bit longer to come out of the ground but they will I've done this quite reliably in the past and they will come out in time and still produce something for us earlier this month when I was digging the last of the early crop of potatoes I was thinking of how digging potatoes reminds me always of digging for gold I always think of people who go in pursuit to you know, far ends of the earth to actually dig up gold. But the reality is that even though potatoes and gold have that same sense of excitement in revealing something uh, out of the earth that you haven't seen before, while gold is accredited with great value, really you can't live on it. You have to exchange it for food. You can't eat gold. And so when times are really tough, you find that food like this and gold, in terms of value, go in opposite directions. The value of food goes up, the value of the gold goes down. So when it comes to growing potatoes, really you can actually plant this gold and be assured of some form of reward and you know that you've actually got something that will sustain your body in the end. So ultimately, I think that growing potatoes is much better than going off in search of gold. Now the area of ground that I'm going to use, I had covered with plastic following the previous crop that was in it to suppress the weeds. And that works really well to knock the weeds back. A couple of days ago with the prediction of rain, I brought that plastic off and opened it up so that the soil could rehydrate and we had the rain. It was fantastic. We had uh, 50 millimeters of rain in about 24 hours. It soaked in really well and the soil is fantastically hydrated again. I prepared it by running the rotary hoe through and put some furrows in with the shovel. So now I'm ready to plant. What I'm going to put in with the potatoes is primarily my traditional homemade compost uh, lazy compost as I call it that I've made and I'm going to add that on top of the potatoes but 
first a couple of secret ingredients that I haven't really talked about before. One is I add a little bit of blood and bone. Not too much because you don't want a lot of nitrogen with the potatoes, but just a little bit really helps them move on a bit better and grow some reasonable tops. Good tops, look, they don't need to be this big, but they do actually help uh, feed back into the soil and give uh, a better potato harvest. The other thing I add is a little bit of phosphate. Now, I know the organic purists are not going to like me for that, but Australian soils are very deficient in phosphate. The amount that I add is very small. I really like to err on the less side rather than more, but just adding that little bit, I find, gives me a far more successful crop and also larger potatoes. Root crops do really need phosphates basically to develop. So with those in place, I can start planting. The main variety I plant is a Dutch cream, which is a very popular variety here in Tasmania. But I've got an occasional Royal Blue, don't mind having a little bit of a mix, but these are the ones we prefer. So they're all in the ground, and there's still lots of seed left here. Uh, what it'll be used for, maybe. The winter crop not sure yet but now it's time to dig out the compost and lay the compost over the top of the potatoes i use this homemade compost at the rate of about one shovelful per potato we've got plenty there so i can use it quite liberally and it gives great results i'll now cover this compost with the wheel hoe just running over it lightly of course i will come back later when they've actually come through the ground and got their heads up and hill it again with the wheel hoe. It's always a great feeling to have those potatoes in the ground. Knowing that I'll be able to dig my gold <laughs> in the middle of winter, they'll happily stay in the ground until the probably August, which is the last month of winter here, at which point if the ground starts to warm they would start to grow so they need to come out before then. But there's no rush to dig those over winter, unlike the summer crop, which you really need to get out of the ground because if the summer crop stays in the ground where the ground is drier, they're more prone to pests uh, because the ground tends to open up more. They're also more likely to get green and that type of thing. The next crop of potatoes that I'll plant will be indoors in the greenhouse over winter. So that is three crops that I've planted outside and the fourth will be indoors and it won't be for quite some time it will probably be around the end of may uh, beginning of june some point like that that i'll actually do that which is right at the beginning of winter here so hopefully that's given you some ideas of things that you can do to get a really good crop of potatoes and get your own gold out of the ground get something better than the metal that comes out of the soil the metal has its uses but you can't eat it. When it comes to the crunch, this is much better.